What is up guys? So in this video, I'm basically going to be showing you how to set up a quick Telegram bot. Now, keep in mind, this Telegram bot is a auto content posting bot for groups and channels. If you want to basically automate the content posting side of things, so the content marketing, this is not a bot that can auto scrape nor auto invite people into the group, right? This functionality isn't there. And we're dealing with the basic functions that Integromat offers in this scenario. There are no complicated API calls uh, from the API documentation itself. This basically covers the creation of the bot, adding the bot into the channel, and then selecting what type of content you want posted. Uh, for the scraping or inviting, etc., that's going to be a different video altogether. But this covers that. So if you're looking to create a quick Telegram bot that can auto post directly in your channel, etc., this is it. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and uh, enjoy. What is up, guys? So let's kick it. So. Uh, this is basically the integromat flow and as you can see it starts from a http request uh goes to the iterator tools google sheets or way aggregator telegram bot and i'll explain everything step by step i know it might look complicated from the uh the get glow itself um and this video can serve as a pretty good explainer of the basics of integromat as well but the key feature right is basically the creation of a telegram bot so the creation of a telegram channel or group bot and an example of this right is basically this so this post right here this is my telegram channel 629 subs etc pretty simple nothing too big uh and i post primarily most of my content here uh, a couple of polls here and there right so like should social media platforms censor their users yes uh, pretty chill stuff and this post here which is a relatively new post is actually uh, something that I've created uh, within the past hours um, and what it is is it's a telegram bot that posts the latest Google trends so if anything's trending on Google search uh, within the past day or two days it's basically gonna grab the title itself and it's also gonna post how many searches as well and in the back end it's also gonna add this data to a Google spreadsheet right here with information and this is again just to show you guys the use case and the usability of what you can do with Integromat on a bigger scale. It grabs the title of the trend, the number of searches, right? The description or related keywords related to NFL. So in this case, Chief, Kansas City, etc. Um, a link with additional news. Uh, so if you did want to read up on, you know, why NFL is actively trending, you just go here, click on the link, done and you're basically reading about it right here. Then a news brief, right? So that you know contextually why it's trending and the uh, subject description, it's another scrape that I wanted to create, but it didn't work out, time and platform. And what the Telegram bot does is uh, from data within this sheet, it basically grabs it and posts it right here. These bots are really, really good, both for posting in channels and in groups. And there's a couple of other functionalities that uh, you can have as well, as you can see right here on Telegram bot. But the, the key ones, right, are primarily for posting content, basically. Um, so you, you could see them right here. So send text message or reply, edit a text message, forward a message, delete a message, pin a message, unpin a message. Um, send an audio file, send a document image. These are the list of uh, functions that, that it's able to do. And then on the flip side, of course, you can also make an API call, but in order to do this, you need to understand the Telegram bot API. So to understand that, uh, you basically need, you need to understand the documentation and basically see how to communicate with it. And then you just make an uh, arbitrary API call, plug in whatever you want and uh, kick it off from there. But it, today we're just gonna be showcasing how to create the basic uh, content posting one for channels and for groups chill nothing too uh, nothing too crazy the key thing that you need to do before you even kick it off is you need to speak to somebody called the bot father and this is basically the bot father right here I think it's this one right uh, so start and this is telegram's official way of creating official telegram bots now there's there's a bunch of different add-ons that you can add to a bot like payment systems etc but the basis of it is basically the bot father um you come here right you then basically go with whatever instructions he gives you so you can control me by sending these commands new bot create a new bot my bots edit your bots so any previous ones that you have uh and he's going to give you an api token basically so that you can connect your bot directly to integromat and then uh use the api directly from integromat so in this case we're going to do a new bot so uh, write a message dash new bot set or write how we're going to call it okay uh now he's going to want a username for the bot now really important that you uh 
make sure that the name of the bot ends with something but right so like my one is uh in the kirill cristalis channel is kirill underscore but just so that people know so that you can't really uh trick people into thinking that the but is authentic because should be fine done and then you need the uh token so the http api token if we head back to integromat in this case uh we just click on add you paste the token right here and then add a name so in this case youtube video test token always whenever you uh youtube video test but whenever you're working with integromat because you can have so many different connections so many different keys make sure that you're naming everything with a date and an intent just so that you know because i uh, at some point uh, if you create a lot of connections some might fail etc you just won't know what's happening and uh, it's going to become a mess so you paste your token right here which again you get directly from the bot father right continue done and then what you want to do as soon as the connection is complete so in this case it is complete is you want to specify the chat id right where you want your bot to participate in but uh before we get into that on telegram you either have groups or you have channels right then you also have other things but in this case it's either groups or channels because that's where they're going to be posting the content to have a bot post in a channel you need to include the bot as an administrator so in this case if we were to do that uh, if i was to switch chat super quick kill on everything right and then if i was to manage the channel right and then click on administrators i need to add the bot as an administrator right here so in this case it was the youtuber test bot i would search the name and then i would add the bot as an administrator right here if it's a group the exact same thing so manage administrators and then add so it, it needs administrative uh access in order to uh, to basically do whatever you want it to do so in this case if we were to create a new channel right so um let's say new channel right so uh, test bot channel create tester public so save private save administrators and then add administrator test youtubers underscore bot you then add it like that and then you're able to basically post so test youtubers is not a subscriber okay and then it's change you basically need to give it admin rights save and then close so now you could basically do whatever you want so in this case uh test bot channel right uh you would basically grab the uh you would grab the channel id right which i'm just trying to figure out right now so it's channel type so permanent link Let's make it a public just for the ease. So in this case, it'd be channel test YouTube. Save. You would grab the everything after the TME. So channel test YouTube. You would post it right here. And then you would remove the TME right after in the format. And then you'd add a at symbol as well. And then the text, this is what you want posted. So in this case, we do a... a quick test post now of course in the back end like i mentioned you can have uh an entire flow dictating the content of what's going to be posted into the telegram bot right but in this case for simplicity's sake uh, if you're just testing or if you just want to post whatever right you could just do quick test parse mode uh i usually leave this blank but if you want to edit and make test uh text bold italic etc in most cases you would choose html just to be able to manipulate that and then disable notifications uh usually i have it as no because whenever it's bots posting the information isn't too important it's more systematic like let's say google search trends right in most cases i have it as no you might have it as yes just to not piss people off because on telegram uh the disable notifications button is one of the first buttons that people see whenever they join a group so you need to be really careful with what you're pinging them about otherwise people will just disable notifications asap uh, disable link previews usually i have that as yes advanced settings there really isn't a lot to play with just three elements original message id which i usually leave blank reply markup etc and then okay so if we just run this module right now and check the back end you could see that it was just posted so test bot channel quick test right and then you can have 
essentially so much more in the back end so like with with regards to what content is posted um and just like i mentioned with my example so this basically makes a http request to an rss app link uh containing all the latest google trends iterates the posts uh, iterates the arrays into uh, different elements, right? Creates uh, multiple variables, adds them into a Google Sheet just to have a database so that we can manipulate the data after, aggregates the array into one, and then posts it as a Telegram bot right here. So basically here, today's trending Google searches, array title, array traffic, right? Array title, array traffic, etc. And then for more information, head over to the, um, the, the, the link itself. Pretty simple uh, with a lot of different variations of what can be done. But if you want to automate your content posting in your Telegram channel or your Telegram group, this is definitely the way to go. So, but just keep in mind, uh, you need to speak to the bot father and make sure that you add the bot as an administrator. And then the rest from there is pretty simple. I'll catch you guys on the next one.